Hey, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're also having a happy holiday. Today, I'm gonna show you how to decorate your ARC builds for Christmas by using three mods that you can find in the ARC Steam Workshop, including a massive mod that just got released the other week. And we're gonna do that by decorating this treehouse village. So let's go ahead and take a look. So the first thing you're obviously going to want to do is download the mods and the mods can be found down in the description below. There's a link to each one on the Steam Workshop. This is for PC only, by the way. Uh, none of the other versions of ARC have ARC support, unfortunately. But after you get them downloaded, you're going to want to come over here, open ARC, which is what this screen is right here, and go to host local. Uh, this is pretty obvious if you've done it before, uh, but uh, scroll down here and I've already got them installed, but the way you install them, let me uninstall this is you look for the, in the list, Randy's Christmas mod, and then you click the add mod button and it adds it to the bottom of the list. And you do that for holiday delight, tis the season and Randy's Christmas mod. Then make sure you have the world selected and you press play single player to dedicated server or uh, host a non-dedicated session. The next step we wanna do is go in the world and take stock of what's in the three mods so we can see what parts that we wanna use uh, in our existing builds. Uh, to spruce it up and make it more Christmassy. Now, I'm gonna do this part for you so you don't have to deal with spawning all this stuff in. So let's go ahead and go through that right now. And if you already kinda know what you want, then skip ahead to 1038. So this is a this is a gift box. This is the Holiday Delight uh, mod pack. And it uh, basically takes the Winter Wonderland objects and uh, gives them to you. Uh, to play with anytime out of season, whether the event is going or not. So uh, obviously um, it's kind of the same objects. This mod also lets you uh, make them bigger, make the gift boxes bigger. There we go, like this. You have to actually click, you make them smaller too. Um, so if you want presents or a Christmas tree or a wreath or anything like that uh, of different sizes, I would definitely download this mod. Uh, the tree also gets bigger. You can make it redwood size almost. I mean, it's ridiculous how big it gets. Um, you can even make a little tiny store display if you want. It's really cool. And uh, this is uh, this snowman actually lets it snow, which is what the snow is. And uh, you can make it bigger too. You can add more snow. If you do add more snow, the snowflakes get larger, but they cover more area. So if you make it like really large, like if we go up to size five or something like that, you can start seeing how big the flakes are getting. And it looks like it's kind of in your face a little more. Other than that, I mean, it's kind of cool. Um, and then you just press E to disable it and they'll go away eventually. It's really neat. Uh, and then we got these like wreaths and stockings and wreaths and these wreaths and these Christmas lights right here, they all glow in the dark. So if we, uh, we take a look here, uh, let me use commander here and just put it at night. You can see how the lights in this mod pack kind of work. Oh yeah, we have a sleigh. And um, you can sit on it if you want. <laughs> um, what else does it do? Oh, you can make it bigger or smaller. Uh, it's kind of decorative. And then I think you, it wants you to use Megaloceros uh, to hit out the display a bit. Uh, but that's pretty much that mod. And then over here, uh, we've got this uh, Tis the Season mod. So this is by Iceprez, I believe. And it lets you do, there's a music box and it plays different types of music. I don't know if you can hear it. There it goes. Yeah, and uh, it, uh, it it's like royalty free, so you can use it in YouTube videos and streams if you want. Um, the Christmas wreaths, uh, standard Christmas wreaths. The Christmas lights are kind of standard Christmas lights. It's got a more sleek kind of modern sleigh, which is kind of cool. And this is also doubles as your crafting table. So you can access the inventory, open up structures, electric, miscellaneous, all this stuff. You can You can do various things. And it, of course, comes with its own little snowman. This one, I like this style. This is kind of a cool style. Um, and then it comes with various styles of artificial Christmas trees, which is really cool. Um, yeah, so this is kind of the natural one. And these are the, like the Charlie Brown Christmas special ones, I suppose. And, and then uh, that's pretty much it for this mod. Let's see how this looks at night, though, really quick. Okay, so the stars glow, but not much else does. The Christmas lights sort of do, but they're really tiny, so you, they might be missed. But fear not, we're coming over here to this massive mod called Randy's Christmas Mod. And this also takes the arc objects and uh, lets you uh, play with them out of season. 
Uh, this one doesn't let you resize the trees. So if you want to make a bigger or smaller tree uh, or any of the other things, definitely use that, that mod over there, the Holiday Delight. Um, but this one also comes with a whole ton of objects. Um, this is Grandma's Stove. It lets you craft all of these craftables. Um, and then there's these other kind of craftables, which are on my toolbar. And uh, let's, let's go over here under an open sky. And let's eat one. And let's uh, let's see what happens. Santa comes to visit. He drops you a present. And you can open it up, I think. Yep, there you go, after a second. And sometimes they'll drop, like, really cool uh, guns. Other times they'll drop these Christmas eggs. So if we do this, and uh, let's... Um, Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah, that'll happen, too. And then if you just drop it, it'll uh, drop this out. And this will incubate like within a minute. So we'll come back to that in a second. Let's take a look at some of these uh, other things. The gramophone also, I think, starts and stops some royalty-free music. Maybe. How's it working? I have to click the start. No? Well, um, maybe it's bugged. It is a new mod, so maybe that'll get fixed. Uh, but then it has uh, wall decorations, which can be placed floating. Um, they're basically the arc decorations pretty much. Um, and then we have this, uh, this candy cane and then this candy cane, you can kind of see it right there in the graphics. It actually lights up so you can place it in dark spots, little teddy bear, little snow globe and a uh, little, uh, Santa lawn ornament. That's very large. And, uh, how are we doing on, uh, on this? Are we close? We're close. Okay. So about seven more seconds here. And we'll get to see what we got here. So I don't think you need like an air conditioner or anything for these things. I think they just work. Oh, there it is. Okay, little baby Jaboa. There he is. So, oh my goodness, he's so cute. He's running away though. So come back. Come back, little Jaboa. There you are. Hi. Okay, wonderful. Okay, you're just going to sit there and you're probably going to... No? Oh, you're probably going to mature yourself. And I don't need to feed you. Maybe. Uh... We'll see. We might end up with a dead Jabo. I, I apologize, but um, the the reindeers are so cute. I gotta. Say, oh, he's coming toward me. You're so cute. Okay. Anyway, um, then we have a various uh, various styles of presents here that you can place, and uh, the only one that actually places in the air is Christmas present number nine. Not sure why. Um, and then these Christmas lights are really cool. These the large and small versions. I'm going to be using these on our uh, build over there when we go to decorate it because these actually glow at night, like really brightly. Uh, let's just kind of do that. See, I mean, it's blinding. So you can see them from a long way off and I just fell off the foundation here. Um, but, uh, you know, that's kind of why. Um, so let's go ahead, head back to midday. Uh, and they all, this also comes like with the gingerbread house kind of build here. So this is your pillar. This is your ramp, foundation. Uh, it comes with icing. Uh, these icing swirls are things you can just add yourself. Um, they aren't part of this wall. And uh, it's just kind of a neat little type of uh, building thing here. So we go up here. I'm going to climb up here. It's just kind of a standard thing. I think it's used uh, the Adobe objects as a base and retextured. Um, but it's a really neat little thing. So if you want to make your own gingerbread house, you can. And then... It comes with various uh, things, including uh, cookies. Uh, I don't think you can eat them, but they're for decoration. Little Christmas cookies. It's really kind of neat. This is how they look. They look like real Christmas cookies. It makes me hungry. A uh, little nutcracker here. Another little uh, wall ornament here. Little snowman. And then ground snow. This one is, you're walking through it, if you, if you see. And you can add this anywhere you want. Um, frozen ground snow, so it's overhanging. You can jump on it. It's solid. doesn't go anywhere. Sounds like a wooden ceiling. And uh, this one is like the regular snow, except it causes this uh, kind of snow effect. And the snow effect does not go very far, uh, just a little bit further. But you don't want to spam these around because it'll cause lag. So that's, that's kind of something you want to be careful of. And then we've got various plants and things, which is kind of cool. A couple of gummy bear things, a couple candy balls. Uh, there is a purple and yellow gummy bear somewhere, but I don't think it's working in this version. Uh, and then we got these icy, icicle eaves, which I think I'll also be using, and a coca tree. And I don't know if that's a Christmas tradition outside of America, but 
uh, to have like a cocoa tree or something, but it's included for some reason. Not sure why. Uh, and then we've got like Arctic direwolves, a, a regular reindeer, which is holly in the in the in the antlers, and uh, uh, polar dire bear. Basically, all these things are nice and white, except the jerboa, which is red. Uh, peppermint jerboa. Oh, and a little Grinch monkey. Just a reskin monkey with a Santa hat. Thank you. And uh, of course, we got the little reindeer, red nosed reindeer. So that's that's Rudolph. So yeah, kind of a kind of a cool bevy of options here to play with. So why don't we jump right into it, huh? All right, so let's get started with the decorations. I'm up here in the plaza section. We'll start with this area first because it's nice and wide open. And I think this is going to be the focal point of where we're going to do our decorations. So uh, the way you would decorate any any mod, I guess, is I would suggest you do the ground first. So I'm going to start with the snow from Randy's mod. And since I have kind of an octagonal platform here, I am going to be doing a bit of overlap. So what I'm going to be doing is going into probably K mode just so I can see what I'm doing here and then kind of rotating a bit like this. It's probably the easiest way just so you get everything just about the way you want it and you can place it down. And then uh, let's go ahead and go over here and just kind of overlap a bit. And you can kind of see how that's uh, looking pretty good. Um, I don't see much Z fighting. There's a little bit right there along the edge, but not a lot, which is pretty cool. Just be careful because if you look in the evenings, sometimes the Z fighting will become a little more apparent, like, like you're seeing in the clip right here. And it basically happens when you're overlapping objects and they're the same kind of orientation horizontally. If you uh, rotate them slightly, then you won't get as much Z fighting. So keep that in mind when you're laying out your snow. Now, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cover up as much as I can of this whole area in snow, uh, but there's a bunch of walkways that are only, you know, one foundation width wide, uh, which I won't be able to put snow on. If I try to overlap it, it's gonna look funny. Uh, you can also attach this to the side of roofs. It'll kind of rotate to match, uh, but the roofs do have to be two roofs long in order for it to really work well. The next step I would do is go ahead and add your Christmas lights and icicles. Now there's a couple tricks for doing this. The first is that you'll want to be able to see both ends of your light string. These lights place against walls, but they also place floating out in front a little bit. So if you don't do this, you will end up with some crooked strings. So here's a little trick that I did. Okay, I went to my options and I zoomed my camera field of view out uh, pretty much almost all the way. And that gave me a little bit of extra space to where I could just uh, do this and just plug that in right there. The next trick that's like really super helpful here, now that you can see both ends of the light string, is how to place them so that they don't get crooked. I would go ahead and just get up right on a wall and it'll float a bit off the wall and then just click once and then press your orbital camera. And then you can rotate and you can get it to line up roughly even like so. And then what you do, don't touch, but just move this way and uh, just go like this. And you will eventually get to the end of the line, but uh, that's one way to place them a little more consistently so that they don't, uh, you know, kind of go all over the place. So that's what the Randy's Christmas mod lights. Uh, the others, I think, might have the same issue. And finally, once you have all the snow covered done and all the lights and icicles done that you want, go ahead and uh, add some incidentals like um, snow globes or teddy bears or Christmas trees, things like that. Maybe we do uh, some uh, Christmas leaves, wreaths, leaves. Let's do some Christmas wreaths. And uh, I think this kind of whitish one might be a little more our style. Yeah, because if we put this regular one up, let's see what this one looks like. And these are from the Holiday Delight because they have lights that glow. Oh, there's music on this. Uh, disable music. So red, actually, strangely enough, red kind of goes, but I think the green goes better. So we're gonna go with the green. Uh, so goodbye, go away. So we'll go with the green ones and we'll go across the, t uh, across the side here on all four of these. Okay, there we go. All right, so yeah, it gives it a nice little Christmassy flair. So I put a little tree here and it looks really piddly in the middle of this thing, but uh, let's make it bigger. 
Oh man, that's that's big. Uh, let's go bigger still. Let's make it twice as big. Let's see what twice as big looks like. This, I mean, it looks ridiculous already, but... Uh, Oh, actually, that does not look bad at all. I kind of like that. That's kind of a neat idea. Um, okay, so that's that's kind of a cool idea, is making a nice big centerpiece tree, but um, maybe it needs to be even bigger. I, I, you know, just just thinking maybe it needs to be that large. I, I'm just, you know, spitballing here. So can if I can fly, we'll see. Okay, maybe it's a little too big. Maybe we'll go down to 2.5. Okay, that's much better. That's much better for like a town Christmas tree, for sure. Okay, great. So uh, let us let me go ahead and kind of finish this whole thing off, and we'll see how this whole thing looks completely lit up. I think it'll be really cool, this, this whole area. Okay, you folks ready? Ladies and germs, you ready? All right, let's do the big reveal. Ta-da! There it is. There is Christmas tree town. Christmas tree town, that's a good way to put it. But we've got snow, we've got the decorations. It'll look, I, I'm hoping at least, because I haven't checked yet. I'm hoping, there's so many particles. <laughs> Frame rates are dropping down to 30. I'm hoping this will look good at night. So why don't we go ahead and uh, try that out. Um, really quick though, before we do, notice I put like icicles on pretty much every edge, including the ones down here. It's just something I wanted to try out. It's something you wouldn't necessarily notice, but I think it adds a lot, uh, in the daytime at least, to uh, really make this place kind of shine and look really cool uh, for Christmas. So let's um, let's head to nighttime and let's see what this place looks like, shall we? Yeah, <laughs> look at that. There's, there's lights everywhere. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. And I didn't know... Uh, Rudolph sparkles sparkled too. <laughs> That's really neat. Um, just everything is lit up here. It's looking really cool. Let's land and let's take a look at it from how we might um, uh, see this um, like up close. So everything, this is nighttime. You kind of see the sunlight. Uh, your pathway is outlined in Christmas lights. It's all multicolored. I wish I could do like golden or white ones. Those are like, those would be really pretty if we just had a full string of those. But here it's really kind of neat. And you can just see the whole thing is just so lit up. <laughs> that is so cool. I love Christmas mods that let you play around with lights like this. Um, it's a really kind of, I mean, it's just a thing that I, I just love. Christmas lights were like a thing when I was a kid. Like, uh, I would, I, we would just, I, I would love going to see them, to be honest. It's just really amazing how everything just lights up. And these were actually my favorite when I was little, believe it or not. But uh, yeah, we got the tree, we got the reindeer, we got presents under the tree. Uh, really tried to go to town detail on this thing. I think it turned out really well, to be honest. So, uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much how you uh, you, you detail a, a build with these uh, Christmas mods. I try to use every single thing. So, if you're interested in those, check them out in the description below. And if you enjoyed this vid, then you're in luck. This is part of a whole channel full of creative art building videos. I didn't used to think I was very creative until I tried, so... I'm making my videos to help you be creative too. So subscribe by hitting that notification bell next to the subscribe button uh, and then become a little more creative by clicking on one of the videos on your screen. And I'll see you next time. And in the meantime, go make something awesome. Bye.